the shit for the inside and um, all the degrees of the car wasn't that dirty it just had a bit of red dirt on it so we start off with when we start off the four drive and RV wash um, does the same as a normal wash really um, real soapy don't know if that's the actual canister yet or the foam what's it called the foam foam cannon ah, there you go there you go don't know if it's the foam cannon or if it's actually the wash but it was fucking came out awesome it came out better than other ones but um cheap shit washes of the car too. Um, I think this that's about like 17, 18 dollars per bottle and I used a whole bottle almost just cleaning one car. So um, if it is that price, I need to double check. It's probably not worth that. Um, then we went to the drip dry. The drip dry, um, it's pretty good. If it's, I think they're they're all about 20 something bucks a bottle. This, um, you use 100 mils not of the drip dry and 900 mils of water in the foam cannon and went over it, you wash it down, it did what it says it's supposed to do, so it's overall, I reckon that's worth it. Um, good thing to have in your little cleaning kit, I guess. Next, we went to the, the Final Touch Ceramic Spray. Um, that, obviously, I'm not gonna know until it fucking gets wet or whatever, and it's supposed to keep it clean, ceramic spray is. Um, uh, supposed to keep the, you know, keep the paint looking healthy, whatnot. Went on nicely, didn't use much to do the whole car. I had to use the same um, cloth to use the whole thing. Comes with one cloth. Cloth's um, quite a good size. Um, so you can dry the whole car with it. Even I'd prefer to use a chamois still than a cloth. Uh, what else we got here? Yeah, so there's not enough of that wash. Um, the uh, foam cannon going onto the actual my pressure washer. It's not a snug fit, so there's a bit of sprayage from where it goes in. Um, not airtight to, you know, don't bother me, cools me down, it's fucking 40 degrees up here, so a bit refreshing, but not great. The, the foam cannon has uh, measurements on the side, so when you're filling you up, you got 100 mil of that um, drip dry and 900 mils of water, you got all your measurements on the side, so it's quite easy to um, fill up properly, the ratio correctly, whatnot, even though I still fucked it up, but did the job. And then finally I used the glass cleaner. The glass cleaner, it's the same as every other glass cleaner. You can go to Woolies or Coles and grab some fucking Windex or whatever. It does the same shit, but depending on the price on it, if this is another $20 bottle, it's probably not worth it when you can get Windex for fucking $4 at Woolies. Um, and yet again, one microfiber towel, so I had to use this for the... I didn't have to, but for the sake of the video, I used the same thing. Everything you got in the bucket, I used. So now I've just got the interior and the degreaser interior is quite clean so I'm not gonna clean it when it doesn't need cleaning and I can't really compare it to other shit when an interior is already clean but overall I think the bucket was $180 I bought the big one um, lucky I did because there wouldn't have been enough fucking washing the small one to wash your car um, overall yeah probably not worth it I wouldn't buy it again um, yeah ah, wouldn't recommend Hope you enjoyed the video. Love you.
Bye.